and Steve Ball Hafner asked, uh, I've mentioned this before, and maybe it's been answered, in which case would someone please point me to where? But when Dave originally announced his long-term plan for Cerebus, it was still bi-monthly, and it was going to be exactly 26 years, ending with issue 156. Shortly after that, he went monthly and realized that if he stretched it out just a few months beyond 26 years, he'd come out with a nice round number of 300, which, as we all know, is what he did. My question is, why 26 years? Was there something significant about that number? Uh, my first thought was to honor fellow Canadian Hal Foster's Prince Valiant. But no, uh, Foster did that uh, uh, quite a bit more than uh, than 26 years. Yeah, it was actually about 34, I think, uh, before the process of choosing a successor began. So I'm puzzled. Why 26 years? Well, it took two years of my life that I'll never get back. But we did answer this in October of 2020. Did you really spend two hours of your life looking for that? It may have been less, but I looked at the clock and I'm like, it's like seven o'clock at night. I started looking for this at like, I swear it was around five. Yeah, it was, I went back on, on a moment of service. There's, there's labels and, uh, right. and, and you know, and please hold has its own label. And I clicked on please hold and I'm like, all right, and I'm going, and it always starts with the newest one, so I'm going back, and I'm going, I know we answered this. I know we answered this. I know we answered this. And then I got, you know, the, the kid wanted something or whatever, and then I went back, and I'm like, okay, I know we answered this. I know we, and, I, and I'm scrolling, and then the jerk who makes these stupid posts every now and then will get lazy, and it's just the videos with no description of what it is, and then I'm like, well, what the, what is, what, and then it's, the next post is, Above it was, uh, okay, you know, Saturday, here's all the videos, Sunday, okay, here's a description of it. I'm like, what kind of jerk does this? And I'm like, oh, yeah, all right, me. <laughs> yeah, the, the trouble with a one-person operation. <laughs> okay, uh, and then it's like, it was Steve B. who asked in October of 2020. So I think we're, we're pretty confident it was Steve Paul after, and he forgot that he had already asked. Well, and I printed out the, the uh, transcript from Jesse Lee Herndon of the section that from 2020 of, okay, this was the question, here's the answer, and if Steve gives me his address, I'll mail it to him. But my printer ran out of ink, and it printed from the third page to the first page, so the first page is unlegible, and the other two pages are good, and I'm like, all right, I'll reprint it up. But yes, Steve, send me your address, and I will I will send you a simulfax signed copy of here's your answer. That's so nice of you. That's so uh, broad-minded, somebody having eaten up two hours of your life on something you already answered for them. Well, that's, that's one of those things. That, that makes me have to go the extra mile as well. And what I'm going to do is give you uh, an even deeper consideration of why the 26 years where uh, the answer would be, it wasn't my idea. I thought it was my idea, but it was given to me and in in my current frames of reference it would be that uh, the question would be was it given to me by YHWH or was it given to me by God and, or was it negotiated between the two of them uh, because Remember that uh, I was doing service, and it's like, uh, I wonder if I can keep going. It's like, let's try and get three issues done. Got the three issues done. Uh, not getting rich, but uh, still in the game. Just stick to the bi-monthly schedule. Um, you know, hit them short and straight. And uh, it, it, sh it should all, all come out in the wash okay. 
and doing it at that point. And then by the time I was getting to, you know, issue eight, issue nine, it was how long am I going to do this? And that's another discussion that we've definitely had of me saying, well, I don't want to, uh, you know, as Hal Foster was saying in 1970, 71, uh, the last few Prince Valiants I did were lousy. And that's, that's no way to end off. So where do I end off so that it doesn't end up lousy, which became, well, at least younger than, uh, than Hal Foster was. Uh, but at that point, uh, in terms of, uh, the grand scale of the universe. And obviously, you know, when you're talking about, uh, God and the YHWH, there's, in my frames of reference, God and the macro YHWH, the first light that was created. And then there's all the residual YHWHs, like the one who um, makes up the core and substance of our planet Earth. And it's a ongoing chess game. I mean, it's, uh, the earth is designed to keep orbiting the sun exactly the way it is without any decay or any kind of fault for, um, roughly 15 billion years, which means, okay, that's how God, how God has it set up that this is how long it's going to take, uh, to get all of this sorted out with, uh, uh proxy human beings, all, all the rest of it. And YHWH going, I'm God, I have no idea who this voice is, but I'm God, and I have no interest in these, you know, uh, um, man, man is, uh, you know, uh, evil, evil from his youth. The imagination of man's heart is evil in, in his youth, from his youth, as it says uh, in Genesis. So uh, what I think um, happens is there are a, a different different chess games present themselves and i was presenting myself as a chess game because what i was picturing in my mind was um, i'm not going to do this as long as how foster did prince valiant but that's what i'm thinking of is okay what short of that is um, um In, in my own mind, yeah, I can, I can, I can picture myself still having the chops to be able to do this at that age. So that's the age that I'm going to do it. Uh, but on, in terms of the scale, there, then you are talking about somewhere between 20 and, and 30 years. And at that point, then you get into the whole faith and endurance thing where it's like being the world's tallest poppy. This 20 year old kid, is saying, uh, this is what I'm going to do. And it's like, okay, both God and the YHWH know exactly how, how uh, insanely interested in, uh, in comic books this kid is, how, how important they are to him. And, you know, put me in coach, I'm ready to play. Uh, and from the YHWH's standpoint, it's like, uh, okay, this, this, this guy's going to prove my point. I bet you he doesn't get there. And I bet you he's, uh, like, if you think, think the picture of Dorian Gray was ugly at the end of the story, you, you can't even imagine what this, this guy's going to be like, because, uh, I, you know, God and YHWH both know what his soul looks like at age 20. And it's like, it's, uh, it's a major, major traffic accident. And, Scanning the, the most distant horizon, there is a, absolutely no sign that he would be anything otherwise. So, uh, as I'm fond of saying, the Job rule is always in effect. Uh, what do you want to bet on Dave Sem and uh, Sarah's? And it's like, I don't know, what do you want to bet? And uh, the reason it, it, it's 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 a sideshow. 
it's like it's just a cartoonist, but it's like, okay, anything that's that's longer than three months or six months or whatever. If you're talking about somebody doing something for a quarter century, okay, well, um, you know, you're going to have to eat your words or I'm going to have to eat my words, but we're not going to find out for, for 25 years. Uh, it really comes down to faith and endurance, capital F, capital E. And this is not something that this kid has in, uh, in abundance. Uh, so in terms of the 26 years, uh, what becomes most obvious is that, uh, there's 52 weeks in a year and 22, 26 weeks in half a year. So that means it's a halfway point that, uh, that they're talking about, but it's a macro halfway point because he's not talking about doing this for 26 weeks. He's talking about doing this for 26 years. So it's like, well, okay, you're he, she, it. You're the, the uh, in quotation marks, triune being. Why don't we say 26 years and three months? <laughs> and it's like, I think that definitely appealed to the YHWH. Yes, uh, I will get to do my three-month victory lap um, over, over this guy. And it's like, at that point, it's it's Bugs Bunny and Donald Duck because it's God, and God's going. I know exactly how this guy turns out. I know exactly how the 26 years and three months turns out. As a matter of fact, that I I know how the how the 20 years after that goes. And it's like, oh boy, are you are you asking to walk right into a duck and muck cartoon? But that's okay. I'll just uh, I'll let you box yourself in on this. And. Uh, the way that I would support that uh, from you know, my extensive uh, monotheistic uh, reading of scripture, uh, going to the what I think everybody, uh, whether you're uh, Jew or Christian or Muslim, would have to agree that the gold standard of eschatological uh, religious works, uh, religious scripture, is John's revelation. It's uh, and it was, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's intended that way, and um, it's the macro version of that. Uh, I, ju I was just going through it before before I phoned you, um, and. What's most, what's really, really noticeable about Revelation is the um, uh, the definition of the time span, the time spans being described, because uh, right off the top, uh, Revelation one four, the uh, for the for appointed time near. Uh, well, okay, you can go through all of Revelation, and it's like. In human terms, it definitely wasn't the appointed time near. John's uh, revelation was in uh, uh, 98 AD in, in, uh, in Patmos. Um, but it was the appointed time was near in God's and YH, WH's um, frames of reference. Uh, li uh, 118, living I am into the ages of the ages. Uh, it's talking about, okay, this is going to be a from, this is a from now on thing. The ages of the ages, uh, this watershed moment that we're talking about or span of time. And this is what's, what's unknown to human beings. I suspect even unknown to the, uh, YHWH. Uh, one, uh, you may be having tribulation of days 10. That's the angel in the Smyrna of Ecclesia, the angel of the, uh, the Church of Smyrna, uh, and to the angel of the in Philadelphia of Ecclesia. You observe the word of the endurance of me, and I, you, I shall observe out of the hour of the temptation, the being about to be coming upon the being inhabited whole, to, in, to tempt the inhabiting upon the earth. And it's like, uh, the hour of the temptation 
being about to be coming apart. Again, it's like anything that you, any human thing that human beings could apply to this is at least hundreds of years and possibly thousands of years and possibly hasn't even, uh, even uh, occurred. But the, the specificity is, uh, is astounding. Uh, Revelation 8.1, and whenever he opened up the seal of the seventh, occurred silence in the heaven as half hour. It's okay. It's like, okay, I know what a half hour is for me, 30 minutes. Uh, what is it for God and YHWH? And I, again, I think that's something that God knows. Well, I can tell you exactly what the half hour is in my frames of reference. And this is what it is in the YHWH's frames of reference. This is what it is in, in human frame of reference. Uh, nine five, in order that they will be tormented month five. Okay, what is the five months in, again, uh, at, at those macro um, deistic levels and as the, the cutoff point of into the ages of the ages? Is it 5,000 years? Is it 500 years? Is it 50 years? And we don't know that. Uh, 9, 10. And they are having tails like to scorpions and stings, and in the tails of them, the authority of them to treat unrighteously the men, month 5. And it's like, okay, that's, uh, that's the month 5 again. 5 verses later on. Is this all talking about the same events in that specificity, and this is what we're watching, watching for. We don't know. God knows. Uh, we don't know. Uh, YHWH doesn't know. Uh, the city, the holy, they will trample on months 40 and 2. That's skipping ahead to Revelation 11. And this is illustrating what, uh, uh, what I see as the, the, the small potatoes version of the 26 years uh, being 26 weeks. Uh, foundation of service. And why I don't think it was my idea. It was, no, specifically uh, this, we, we can put it in the, in the capital F, capital E, faith and endurance category. Uh, and the courtyard, the outside of the divine habitation, throw you out outside, and not it you should measure, because it was given to the nations. And it's like the word nations actually means koyam, the non-Jews. And the city, the holy, they will trample on months 40 and 2. Uh, okay, 40 and 2, that's three and a half years. So it's, uh, and... The, the biblical seven years is, of course, very, very significant. And the fact that there are seven days in the week is very, very significant. So, again, this is, this is a halfway if you, if you crunch it down. And I shall give to the two witnesses of me, and they will prophesy days 1,260, having been thrown about sackcloth. Uh, I've been reading this for 27 years, and... I've tried to do the math on 1,260. Like I say, the, the 40 and 2 I got, oh, okay, it's a reference to uh, half a week and half of the seven-year time period. It's on the 50-yard line. Um, uh, days 1,260, uh, I, I, I don't have that. Uh, having been thrown about sackcloth, these are the two olive trees and the two lampstands, the insight of the Lord of the earth, having stood uh that is to me the synoptic jesus and the johanna jesus the the sons of oil the two olive trees and the two lampstands the insight of the lord of the earth being the yhwh um having stood uh and then so uh, again supporting that in my own mind anyway. And whenever they should finish the witness of them, the wild beast, the stepping up out of the abyss, will make with them war and will conquer them, and it will kill them. 
and the fallen of them upon the broad way of the city, the great, which is being called spiritually Sodom and Egypt, where also the Lord of them was put on a cross. We assume that that's uh, Jerusalem. Uh, and they are looking at, out of the peoples and tribes and tongues and nations, the fallen of them, days three and a half. There's the three and a half again. And it's on the 50-yard line, and it's the two sons of oil. This is the end times, uh, to me, synoptic Jesus and Johann and Jesus. Uh, it will be enacted again, but on a, on a much, much higher scale. Uh, they, and the fallen of them, not they are letting go off to be put into memorial. Uh, that is, they're not being buried. And the dwelling on the earth are rejoicing upon them and are making themselves well minded and gifts they will send to one another because these, the two prophets, tormented the dwelling upon the earth. Uh, so it's, it's one of those, again, the, the three and a half uh, tells you, okay, it's half of the seven. So this is uh, on, the, on the 50 yard line. And with me, uh, the 50-yard line reference for service in doing it for 26 years is uh, that it's half a year. It's, uh, it's 26 weeks, but scaled up to uh, two years. And you were only doing the book bi-monthly, so you would have been only doing it half a year. Right. And then doing it all year. 